Hi and welcome to another quick tip for Photoshop. So in this video I want to show you how you can easily create a color scheme for your project and then link that through and save it into Photoshop to be used inside there. So I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Color CC and Photoshop and link the two together. So Adobe Color CC allows us to either create our own color scheme or we can go through when you can explore other people's color themes that they've saved and shared. So for ease, we're just going to do that in this video. So we're going to jump over to the Explore tab. I'm going to put a keyword in there. So I'm going to just use Apple, for example, and then we'll go through and search for that. And you can see that brings up a whole collection of different presets that have been tagged with the term Apple. So let's just say that I like this first one. Once I bring my mouse over it, you can see I've got a couple of options. The one we're interested in is Save. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to save this into our library and we can then call that up inside Photoshop. Now we're not limited to doing this inside Photoshop, we can use this in any of the CC applications like InDesign, Illustrator. So if you're creating something and you set up a color theme that's going to sort of travel across all those different applications, this is a great way of saving that out and making it available in all of the different apps that you're going to work inside Adobe CC. But like I say, we're looking at Photoshop for this example, so let's click Save. You can see that now allows us to save this to the library. I can use the name that it's been given when it was created, or I can put a name of my own in that it makes more sense. And you can see you've got Choose Your Cloud and Library. So if you've got multiple cloud accounts, you can choose which one. But what we're going to do is going to come down, and I've set up a folder already that's set up, and we've got Color Schemes, and you've got My Library, and any other libraries you may have created Alternatively, you can create a new library from this point, which will then link up through to all the applications. So I'm going to choose Color Scheme. You can see underneath we can put tags in there, and this has already been applied with a pile of tags that it kind of feels is relevant. But if we want to add additional tags or take any of those out, we can do that right now. We can also say publish this theme to explore, so that'll become shareable with everybody else. Well, because we've taken it from there, there's no need for us to do that. So once I click on Save, that will now save that through into my Adobe account. And then when I go into Photoshop, it'll already be there for me. OK, so I've opened up Photoshop and I've got a document ready for me. Now, I've also got the library panel open in the top right hand corner. Now, if you don't see this, you can simply come to the window menu and just come down and check libraries and that'll show this. Once you've done that, you can see we've got my library and I can expand that out and you can see color schemes, which is the folder we had in the previous step. So once I choose that, any color schemes that have been shared, in this example, the green apple flavor one, is now already there waiting for me to start working. So that's an easy way of being able to pull in these color schemes from Adobe Color, link them through, and then make them available throughout all the CC applications, in this example, Photoshop, but it's really simple, really powerful, and a great way of making sure you've got a consistent color scheme across all the applications. Well, I hope you found this quick tip useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.